Blue Jays taking on the Red Sox again. Ron Renicki's Sox came back and beat the Jays 9 to 7 last night. This is the third game, first start for Julian Merriweather in his young major league career. He's 28 years old. He had Tommy John surgery in 2018. And a swing and a miss at a ball way up and out of the zone. And Merriweather strikes him out. Well, you don't need any defense for a strikeout. And a swing and a miss. Foul tip, actually, but a back to back strikeouts for Merriweather off to a great start. Martinez with a fly ball to left field out in front of the changeup. And right there is Guriel. And what a nice first inning for Julian Merriweather. Randall Gritchick steps in. Gritchick drives a ball to deep left field, and it's gone. What a shot on a 3-2 pitch. Number eight on the season for Gritchick in the Blue Jays' lead. Brando Gritchick has really taken off. He hit his first home run on the 14th of August, and he has been dialed in. This is the 22nd home run the Blue Jays have hit here at Salem Field. They have out-homered their opponents 22-9, to and this has become a favorite ballpark for the Blue Jays. And then a fastball by him at 97 for another strikeout. Yeah, when you have 97, 98, we've seen 99 tonight. I think you have to utilize that as your put away pitch. And you can see Moreland's a day late with that one. After seeing that 80 mile an hour change up and he ratchets his up to 97, it's tough for any hitter to catch up. And a weak ground ball out to second. This should do it in the inning and it does a terrific performance by Julian Merriweather whether you wanted to call him a starter or an opener whatever the case was he was great one nothing Blue Jays bottom of the second here's Rowdy Telez. Telez sends a drive to deep right center and it's another home run for the Blue Jays Gritchick in the first Rowdy in the second two to nothing Blue Jays might want to stay in Buffalo <laughs> And I tell you what, they have really done a job here. They have the best home batting average in the majors. Coming into this game as a team, they've hit the 312 here in this ballpark. And as is usually the case with Rowdy, when he gets a hold of one, it is no cheapy. 438 feet, the distance of that home run, and it's two to nothing Blue Jays. Mitch Moreland struck out in the second inning. That was against Merriweather. Went the other way. That's it pretty well. Guriel is turning around, and in fact, it gets out of here. It's a home run. Well, Guriel was going back to the warning track as if he expected to have a chance to make a play, but Mitch Moreland just hit his eighth home run of the season. Boy, that looked like it got a little gust of wind did, or something, did. didn't it? I didn't think that ball was going off the bat. I don't think Moreland thought it was going off the bat. And it just kept going and going and going, and it turns into number eight. So a runner out at second, nobody out, and the batter will be Rowdy Telez, who hit a long home run his first time up. And Pelez, Telez rather hits another one a mile to right. Two at bats and two home runs for Rowdy Telez. Boy, he got a slow curveball there and crushed it. That's the kind of power, and he's intriguing, man. When he gets on a roll, there's not a ballpark in the world that can hold him. Jun Yamaguchi on to work in his fourth frame. And he pops it into center field. Looking up through the raindrops is Randall Gritchick to make the catch. Two down and now six in a row set down by Yamaguchi. Did he get a piece of it? He no, did not. He did not yeah, get a piece of it. He did it. not. So Yamaguchi strikes out Bogarts and he's gone four good innings in relief tonight for the Blue Jays. And back to the top of the order for Kevin Biggio. Biggio is 0 for 3 on the night. He hasn't reached base, and he's got that long streak of reaching base in 18 straight games. Hits it hard, and how about a 19 game streak of reaching base? Biggio with a base hit, and Espinal around to third. The Blue Jays looking to extend this lead. First and third, nobody out. And Gritchick shoots the ball the other way for a base hit. Espinal can jog home on this one. Biggio to second, and it's five to one. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. with the bases loaded and one down. Fair ball down the line. And already we can see Devers is saying, have a look at that. He thought the ball was foul. If it holds up, it's a three-run double for Guerrero. 
That clears the bases and brings a big smile to Vladdy's face. He was smiling as he went around first base. And suddenly it's a big night for Vladdy. It's eight to one for the Blue Jays. It's a big night for Rowdy Telez. He's got a couple of homers and now he's got a base hit. Guerrero is rounding third and there will be no throw as he slides in to make it nine to one. Foley will come on and try to close out this ball game. And another diving stop by Biggio. Two down. He has two outs here in the ninth inning and thrown seven pitches. Again the 0-2. And it's popped a mile up in the sky. Who's going to find it? Who's going to get it? Reese McGuire's got it in foul territory. Gets a hand from his pitcher Sean Reed Foley and the Blue Jays bounce back in convincing fashion here in the second game of the series. Buck with a 9-1 to win.